Sit in a pot. <laughs> Mushtaq, shok. This is nataria, kara, pork. Klasikush. We are on the hunt for Kudi Jula. <laughs> All right, I think the next station is ours, Saint Lelecter. That was Filatori Gat. They've completely sanitized Saint Lelecter. This used to be one of my favorite hard scrabble, ramshackle, train side shurizus. Those of you who have been watching for a while know that this is where we met Madjar Elvis and Fidel Castro. Hoi Chivnak. Fidel Castro. Madjar Elvis. Hoi Madjar Elvis. 1878. Also just so happens to be the year that Kruti Jula was born. This is Futer here in Obuda. There's the Varoshaza City Hall. That is what we were looking for. Mr. Crudy Jula with his glass of wine, his soda water for the fruch, and a book. What book is this? Marai Shandor, Sinbad Hazamej. Probably Marai Shandor because Marai Shandor did a lot to reestablish the reputation of Crudy Jula. So Crudy Jula, he's born in Nireg Haza, up in the northeast corner. See him. See you, Kutya. Tsuki. Najan Tsuki. Nireg Haza. Up in the northeast corner of Hungary, that's where Kuri Jula is born. And he's born into a noble family. That's why his name's spelled with a Y, K-R-U-D-Y. If you see Hungarian names that end with a Y, it's usually because they had noble origins. But it wasn't like a very fabulously wealthy noble family. In fact, a lot of the nobility in Hungary by the end of the 19th century were considered the lesser gentry. But Kuri Jula, he grew up in a mixed family because his father, he married a commoner. Actually, she was the maid in the Grudy house. Because of that, he gets a great mix of experience. And being the firstborn in the family, Grudy Jula's father had high hopes for him to become a provincial lawyer. And Grudy Jula was just like, no, that's fucking boring, dad. I am going to be a writer. There we can see the Aquincum Museum, splashes of ancient Rome. Aquincum, the heart of District 3. District 3, O Buddha. What a district. A lot going on. A lot of museums, a lot of culture. We're heading across. Man, fair fee. Not a crosswalk, I repeat, not a crosswalk. Ooh, safe scene. Safe scene, Kochi. Also not a crosswalk. Do as I say, not as I do. Some quite evocative buildings here. Kosh Karoy. That's our friend from Vekerle Telep. And this is very Vekerle Telepesh. Calvinista Templum, tra la 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 la. Calvinista Templum. Tra la 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 la. Calvinista Templum. Tra la la. In Ezer Heitzas, Njotsvan. But we're working with a timeline that's about a century later than that. So Krudi Jula, he disobeys his father. His father's furious. He disinherits him. Says you're not getting any of our minor gentry nobility money. And Krudi Jula, he's writing for some regional papers. Debrecen, Nirikaza, the northeast of Hungary. And in 1896, he comes to Budapest as an 18 year old. And 1896, what a year to come to Budapest. What a year to make your entrance because that was the year of the Magyar millennium, the 1000 year celebration of the Hungarian kingdom. This is as brutal as brutal gets. Here we have him, Kuri Jula. It's the Kuri Neged, Kutra Ish Gastronomia, Erkes. The Magyar Kereskedelmi Ish Vendeg Ato Ipari Museum. There's Kuri Jula. So he did live in this part of Obuda. Ebena Hasban Elta Ish Dogozot Kuri Jula Iro. Wow, so I guess this was the writing hall of Kuri Jula. There's his wife. <laughs> Look at this place. So much to learn and digest. Oh, Shomoshi Karoi. Not Janyao. All right, well, we've been through the Crudy Jewel exhibit and we're gonna head back out and have the rest of our adventure shortly. But this museum is really terrific. I mean, they have this whole socialist era exhibit, retro signs, vintage. Wow, look at this, look at all of this. Oh, 
you really just get a feel for the old days, don't you? Kosono Sefa. All right, well, that place blew my fucking mind. Najansuki Kutyak. Najansuki Kutyak. Yo, oh, oh, okay, okay. And here he is again, Kuri Yula. Got two statues in the same district. That's how you know you're a pretty big deal. Kaylee Vendeglu. Let's take a little peek. Here he is again, Kuri Yula. Eat soko uni barataiva. So what did I learn about Kuri Yula in that museum? Yonapot. In 1899, he marries his first wife. A woman who's six years older than him, a Jewish woman by the name of Spiegler Bella. She's a writer also. She goes by the pen name Arabella or Satanella. Kurijula, he's got his wife and they've got four kids. Unfortunately, one dies in infancy, but nonetheless, three mouths to feed, plus the wife, plus Kuri Jula, who had a marvelous appetite. And so he starts churning and burning. You know, he's writing stories, he's writing articles, he's a journalist, he even writes some plays. And Kuri, he begins to develop this signature style. Kishayo. Yo. And his signature style, it's all about his life. His life in the pubs, his life in the restaurants. Because Kuri Jula, he loved nothing more than a good kochma, a good shurizu, a great eiterem, a vendeglu with fruch and beer and wine, maybe some palenka. He loved the cave houses. He just loved going to these places, sipping, writing, observing, and having a grand old time. In some ways, he was sort of like a domestic Hungarian turn of the century version of Anthony Bourdain. All of his work, which is gaining quite a reputation amongst the Budapest intelligentsia, it culminates in 1911 with his most famous work, The Adventures of Sinbad. Yellow helmet guy. And this book launches him in to, well, relative superstardom. But of course, 1911, when it was published, it's right as World War I is about to break out. And actually, a lot of the themes in this book have to do with the decaying structures of the antiquated Hungarian feudal society. And another thing about Sinbad is he has a voracious sexual appetite. He's constantly getting into all sorts of adventures and affairs. Now, just like his beloved character, Sinbad, Kuri Jula, is a bit of a naughty, 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 naughty boy. And he too is constantly having sexual adventures and affairs with various women. And as you can imagine, his first wife, Bella, is none too pleased. Throughout the 19 teens, he's living the life of a romantic writer of the age, living out of various hotels, just like this one right here, the Hotel Astoria. He lived here, so they say, just because his favorite waiter was working in the restaurant. Yes, this would have been an atmosphere that he would have delighted in, this old Europe. They say that most of his meals were served by men in white coats. He never really learned to cook. <laughs> hey, what's up? from TikTok, right? TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, whatever you want. Take it easy. Don't even really have a TikTok, but I guess it's something. <laughs> Actually, it's while living at a hotel, the Grand Royal Hotel over on Erzsébet Karut. And it was a magnificent hotel, a truly magnificent hotel. And it was while living there that Kuri Jula met his second wife. The Royal was Europe's most luxurious and elegant hotel at the time. It opened up with great fanfare around the turn of the century. 350 rooms, 450 beds, each room had its own bathroom, a huge rarity at the time. In 1915, a new manager took over and his name was Jula also, Varadi Jula. And Varadi Jula, he has a beautiful wife. Her name is Regina, but everyone calls her Rejan. And guess what? When Kuri Jula moves in, he has an affair with her. But that is not where the true scandal occurs because it was not long thereafter, hello, <laughs> that Kuri Jula begins another affair, this time with Rejan's daughter. It's not the daughter of the hotel manager. It was from Rejan's first marriage. But nonetheless, it is a massive 
crazy scandal and they fall in love. But unfortunately, Crudy Jula, hey, what's up, man? Is evicted from the hotel and he moves out to Margaret Island where he spends much of the remainder of his life, hopping from hotel to hotel. Eventually, he gets divorced from Spiegler Bella, formally marries Juji, has a daughter with her named Juji Jr. But unfortunately for Crudy Jula, his stature as a literary great began to fade, mostly because after World War I ended, it was a time of great instability in Hungary, and eventually, there was a brief experiment with communism. In Billy's pub. It's almost my pub. Hungary obviously had their experiment with communism after World War II, but they also had one after World War I. Bela Kuhn. Bela Kuhn. Kuri Jula, he's not like running out there, beating his chest as a upstart revolutionary communist, but he writes some sympathetic articles about the socialist cause and when the right-wing reaction of Admiral Horty and the conservative post trianon 1920s government comes into place, it becomes more and more difficult for him. And eventually, he can't even pay his bills. Here we are in Calvin Ter. For those of you who watched the Az Eilet Chasara episode, that is where the Kate Pistoy sure has used to be. I don't know, did it still exist in the times of Kuri Jula? I think it did. Probably had a few drinks there. Here we have the back side of the National Museum. Actually, that's the side side. I guess you just call it the side. So, Kuri Jula, he cannot pay his bills. And they kick him out of Margaret Island. I didn't know you could get kicked off a whole island, but he gets kicked off. And he's not a very healthy man. You know, he loved to drink, he loved to eat. Probably a bit too much. And it takes its toll on him. And so he dies at a relatively young age. I think 1978, 1878 rather, to 1933. So he would have been about 55 years old. 65, 55, 65, 55, 55, 57, 55. I can't do math. Yeah, that's 55. Eventually, his reputation is reburnished and he becomes this famous, famous man of letters who's revered and respected, not only in Hungary, but for those and by those who know global world 20th century literature as well. He was really a man ahead of his time. He prefaced a lot of literary movements such as magical realism and running stream of consciousness, the styles that he became famous for in books like Sinbad and his other adventures through the streets of Budapest. Krudiutsa. Krudiutsa. He's got a street named after him. He was a man that brought fantasy to the everyday and transformed the everyday into fantasy. What a bloke. Crudy, crudy, crudy. We gotta get a drink here. The crudy should have. Sok asok. Semmi gond. Ez nem a Ferencváros. Ez a Ferencváros. Üljött. Arena. Wow. Druk. Most, most nagyon, hát most ugye. Ott tartunk most. Ott tartunk most. Or look. Yeah. Or look. Or look. See you later, Kuri. Sinbad, a voyager in the realms of memory and imagination, travels through the centuries in pursuit of his ideal love. This deeply autumnal book is a perfect metaphor for the resonance of the fading an exploding snap, crackle, burr embers of the Habsburg Empire just before apocalypse.